Googlebot can't access your site, error messages in Google Webmaster Tools. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you a couple of different methods that you can try to be able to fix uh, the issues that Googlebot is having when it requests your website. Either way, this error message should not be happening often. Meaning, you know, if you see this perhaps once a year, that's okay. Because it could be that come tomorrow, Googlebot will be able to access your site. So then it's just a temporary thing. And then you don't have to worry about it or do anything. But if you end up seeing these error messages often, then let's go and see what we can do. Now, Google has recommendations, but let me try and simplify what that means, all these things mean. Now, what if when you try and fetch your robots.txt file, you end up seeing robots.txt fetch file error message in Google Webmaster Tools? If you end up seeing something like this, then you kind of get an idea as to what could be the culprit, so to speak. In this case, it's robots.txt file could be the culprit. So when you log into your search console, simply grab some sample URL from your website and just double check. As you can see at this stage, the testing, it says, you know what, Googlebot can access that URL here, this sample URL. But this is just a tester, meaning I can write anything in here. It doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything because the physical file is on my server. And let's go take a look at that as well. Simply log into your web hosting manager, press on file manager, and then you'll end up seeing this file here yeah if you don't see this file at this stage then you know your content management system is creating this file dynamically make sense so then you have to contact your web developer to to um, find out how is that file is generated if you're managing your own content management system then it is more than likely that a plugin is creating that file. So perhaps you can disable that plugin and so on. So let's move through to see what we can do at this stage. What you should be doing is just double making sure the permissions are set correctly for Google to access your file. Default 644 is okay. You can right click, change permissions, and then simply check boxes here. Look what happens each time when I check these boxes. The numbers change, as you can see. So you can perhaps test it as 755, change the permissions. Look what happens here. Now you know at this stage, Google will definitely be able to access it. So I'm not going to try and teach you how the permissions work, but just to tell you is change the permissions, Make sure that it is minimum 644. Okay? Because as you can see, some others are not accessible and so on. Make sense? So always check that. Then what you can do is you can view the file. You can grab everything in that file or you can control A on your keyboard. Control C on your keyboard, so you copied it. As you can see, there is actually a problem here. Let me try to go and fix this here. You can create a text document, name it robots.txt file. I've already done that here. Now, the reason I'm showing you these is because even when you're looking at your file here as in if you end up seeing robots.txt file on your computer and you can't see anything wrong within it but as you can see there is a problem happening here so what i can do is i can right click 
edit. I can hit backspace. I can change encoding. So it could be to do with encoding as well because your website may be in a different language. Okay, so let me hit save changes. Let me view the file. Look what happened. The, the error message is gone. Okay, so that B or M error, it's rather complex. I looked into it. I don't 100% understand it. It's to do with how encoding works on the file save process. Okay, so just make sure that you end, don't end up seeing that error message that we saw early on. Yeah, you can, as I've said, hit backspace, trying to fix it as such. There are other methods such as there's a program called um, Notepad++ which allows you to fix that B or M. I think it's called byte order byte order mark error. Okay, so you can look into it. It's to do with encoding. Okay, so I've shown you two different remedies. One is permissions. Double make sure permissions are set correctly. Second, double make sure the the error message in that file is not there. So you can utilize Notepad plus plus, or you can simply try it on your server level and hit backspace to delete anything in that file and if that doesn't work then you need to use notepad plus plus to make sure all is okay i'm not going to cover that approach oh, let me cover that approach while here as well let's open up edit with notepad plus plus so i'm editing robots.txt file and here we've got encoding character set as you can see, you can convert everything within that file to UTF-8. And then save it, control S. Now I can upload this file knowing that I don't have that byte order mark error. Okay, so you can follow their approach as well. Notepad++ is an open source free program for you to use anyway. What else can you do? What you can do is double check your um, .htaccess file because so that could be the culprit as well because if there is any redirection going on perhaps you updated your .htaccess file and so on while here let me show you something as in if you're using wordpress at minimum you need this so you can grab everything delete everything and just have this in there but make sure you save what was in that file early on because you're troubleshooting the issues for Google can't access your site and directives in .htaccess file could be causing some problems as well so at the end of the day you can troubleshoot this file as well this is a complex file and I've just shown you a simple method if you're not using WordPress, simply copy what was in that file previously, as in Control C or grab everything, copy, make a local copy of it, just in case that while you're working, you can save this, you can put this back in your server, you can do the same thing from your file manager, you can upload dot htaccess file knowing you have access to the earlier one so you're troubleshooting this as well because you can do that as well now once you follow these methods and approaches if at that stage you still end up seeing google can't access your site error messages and they hap happen often then you have to contact your web hosting company to get them involved. I thank you very much for learning with me and subscribing to Rankia YouTube channel and I'll talk with you in the next video session.